In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a bootable ghost CD. Now, before we do this, we need to run some tests. So, we're going to run tests virtually to make sure that at the end we get a good uh, bootable disk. So, for this, we're going to use four software, which is Microsoft Virtual PC, Oracle Virtual Box, Ultra ISO, and WinImage you need to download it and install I place a link in the description box below now go to bootdisk.com and here download the DOS Windows 9X boot disk I'm gonna download the Windows 98 OEM mirror one for this website, I also placed a link in the description box. Click, save, save it in your desktop. Done. Close. Now close the website. and here it is boot98.exe now we are going to extract that to your desktop so right click and extract here if it comes out if it comes up an error don't worry don't mind this everything is fine just click close and here is my uh, boot 98 files in an image now I'm gonna open this image and it's gonna open using win image program so what I'm gonna do is extract it to my desktop click on image and then extract extract all files into the same folder browse I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it extracted 98 uh, files extract it win 98 shorter click OK and click OK I'm gonna close here and here is my extracted win 98 folder double click to open perfect now we're gonna use some of this uh, that says files go ahead and click on new on the desktop folder and call this non bootable folder because we have to test it before we create an ISO now with a non boot folder created we go back to the extracted win 98 folder and select auto exec.bat command.com config.sys io.sys and msdos.sys make sure you get them all five right click copy and paste it into the non bootable folder perfect now double click to open I'm gonna make this narrow so we can see and we have all five now go to the ebd.cap double click there and since this is a zip folder we can't right click and uh, copy and paste we have to drag so just drag it into the non boot folder restart.com
now we're going to add the ghost.exe to the non-boot folder go to your CD open look for your ghost program right click and copy into your non-boot folder paste perfect now we're gonna close the CD and close the extracted Win98 folder leaving us with a non-boot now we're gonna right click auto exec that bat and click on edit right click edit and here we're going to remove all content and type this information this information is in the description in my website just click on the link below I'm gonna have two one for the non bootable and one for the bootable auto accept and config that sys so just type that information and save that information close it and confirm by, by saving the information now right click config.sys and click edit here we're not going to remove all content just leave it like that close it and save Now I'm going to move it to a side and open Win Image. Click OK. And now here, I'm going to click on New. And then select the 1.44 megs because my content doesn't exceed 1.44. 1.4 megs I'm gonna leave it at 1.4 megs sometimes your goals is a little bigger so you might use the 2.80 I'm gonna select all the content from the non bootable folder and drag it to my win image when it asks you to if you're sure you want to inject it click yes then click image click on boot sector properties make sure you click on Windows 9895 whether whatever operating system you have it doesn't matter don't click on, on, on Windows 7 for example you have to click on Windows 95 98 very important now once you do that save it select your desktop and I'm gonna call this non boot image right here drop down box select image file and save perfect now I have my non bootable image here now we're gonna access that bootable image with Oracle VirtualBox double click to initiate if you don't have anything created just click on new click next and now I'm gonna leave the default settings so I'm not gonna customize anything here select Windows 98 type the name that you want I'm gonna type Win 98 and click next leave it at default and click next I'm gonna select use existing I'm sorry create a new hard disk and click next click next again to confirm I'll select fix size storage I don't want no dynamic storage 
click next leave it as default and click next finish it's creating my hard drive my virtual hard drive I'll click finish again and now I have my Windows 98 virtual box so click on storage in storage I'm gonna add a controller click on the plot not this one the, the one to the right right here and I'm gonna select add a floppy controller this is just to test my image now I'm gonna add here a floppy choose disk and my disk is going to be the non boot image that I save in my desktop right here select it click open here it is. Click OK. Now click on Start. <clears throat> Booting Windows 98. And yep, yeah, perfect. So, so far, my uh, Norton boot disk is coming out per perfect. So, this is good this is a good sign you always test it before because if you do the the ISO and it doesn't work then you have to redo everything again so it's good to test it halfway now let's uh, make this ghost so I can use my mouse so I'm gonna organize this my non boot folder right beside my non boot image now if I want to use my mouse in the ghost program we have to go back to the bootdisk.com website and here look for make a DOS boot disk get your mouse working in DOS click there this is not very important but some computers it, the ghost program won't run if it doesn't have a mouse.sys so click over here where it says download mouse.com save it in your desktop select desktop and click save click close and then close the website now we have mouse.com down here good Now copy mouse.com into your non boot folder. Paste it. And we're going to right click and add a new notepad or text document. Open your text document inside the non boot folder. and type this command here mouse type equals ps2 and save it as mouse.sys and it's going to create another uh, file inside my non boot folder I'm going to close here you see it's called mouse.sys so I don't need the new text document you see so I'm going to right click delete perfect now I'm keeping my mouse.sys to make sure I just right click edit and yeah, have the information there. So perfect. Now we're going we're going to modify the auto exec that bat 
by right clicking edit and now we're at mouse.com okay now we close it and save the settings now we have to update our non bootable image and retest it make sure our mouse is working so open the uh, non bootable image by double clicking and drag the auto exit that uh, bat and confirm by clicking yes perfect now do the same for mouse.com and mouse.sys remember from the non boot folder just right click copy and paste it there or just drag it and drop it confirm good now all we need to do is just click on save and it will automatically update the non boot image now we open VirtualBox again Let's start our Windows 98 we don't have to do anything else booting Windows 98 now we can see if our mouse is working yes it's working you see a big square there because I'm remotely connected to a computer and using VirtualBox in that computer but yes it's working the, the mouse is following the square so perfect now our mouse is working in the uh, DOS very good now close here now that we know that our uh, non boot image is working perfect now we're ready to create a bootable image so before we do the image we need to do the bootable folder just like we did here right click new folder and call this boot CD I'm gonna change it around and then open the non boot folder we're gonna copy the context from one to the other so from the non boot folder select all the files there except the ghost.exe remember non boot folder right click copy and then to the boot CD folder right click paste now here we need to add more files from the extracted Win98 so open the Win98 folder and add oakcdrom.sys right click copy and paste it into your boot CD folder and now open ebd.cab and drag and drop msd mscdx.exe because you can't right, right click and copy here you have to uh, drag it to the folder perfect now here that we're making the uh, boot uh, CD we need to make some changes to the auto exec that bat and to the config that sys right click auto exec that bat and click edit and we're gonna mod modify this remember I'm gonna leave the information from the auto accept that bat in the description box in my website just replace the information with this information keep in mind you see where it says the 
ghost the one circled when you right click config.sys and you modify config.sys the drive D information have to match I'll show you right now here add this uh, uh, command line device equal oak cd-rom.sys forward slash ghost you see the here the D drive the D column ghost is on both it, it, it cannot be different you have to use the same information ghost ghost I, I left it there a little while so you would look at it then close and make sure you save it close the auto exit that bat and save perfect now open win image click OK now remember new but my file still doesn't exceed 1.4 megs so I'm gonna leave it like that select all my folders from the boot CD folder all my files from the boot CD folder and drag it to the win image program here I'm gonna click on image and click on boot sector properties and remember Windows 95 98 none other Windows 95 98 click and click OK now we're gonna create our image so click on save select your desktop and now this image is gonna be called boot CD image and then click on the drop down box here and select image file and click save now here it is my boot CD image perfect I'm gonna close here close and put my boot CD image right next to my boot CD folder just like we did before with a non boot now open the ultra ISO program I'm using the trial version and here click on bootable and then click on load boot file here I'm gonna load the boot CD image the last one we created click open I'm gonna re rename this to bootable ghost CD like you see here now I'm gonna move this to a side so I can access my non boot and from my non boot folder we need the ghost.exe drag it and drop it to your ultra ISO program boom perfect now close the boot the ultra ISO and it's gonna ask you if you wanna save it click yes the file name I'm gonna leave it like that bootable ghost CD ISO and click save I'm gonna save it in my desktop and here I have created my bootable ISO now I'm gonna try uh, booting using Microsoft Virtual PC now if this ISO works throughout my virtual PC that means if I burn my disk it's gonna work the same so I'm sure it's gonna work but just let's test it 
open the Microsoft Virtual PC click next I'm gonna leave everything default like we did before create a new virtual machine Windows 98 default settings click next using recommend recommended RAM and I'm I'm gonna use new virtual hard disk click next default settings next and finish and now with my virtual PC console I just double click to run and here I'm gonna click CD and capture ISO image go to the desktop where we saved it scroll down and look for bootable ghost CD ISO click open and then action control alt delete and it should boot from the CD and use the mouse there starting Windows 98 perfect now our, our ISO is ready to be used now you can burn it into a CD or DVD and put it in any computer and it will work perfectly thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel feel free to email me if you have any questions